and number eight with a bullet is seven and oh. And uh, just now in the catbird seat, they clearly control their destiny. No question about it. And when was the last time can we say that? I just kind of love that I, I use the term that Timmy B just used, right? Like, love Timmy B. Uh, Timmy, great job on Saturday. Really good game. And you could say that TCU got fortunate, and they did, because Kansas State dealt with those injuries. Adrian Martinez didn't really play. Will Howard goes down. They're, they're down to Rubley, the third-string quarterback. And TCU took advantage. But there's just something about this TCU team. There's something about this TCU team that's easy to root for. That's why I have a smile on my face. There's something about this TCU team that is going to be really tough to beat. It's going to be really tough to beat. And we've seen that play out this month. They're only the third team in the AP poll uh, era, dating back to 1960, that have beaten four teams that were ranked at the time of the game in one calendar month. Oklahoma was ranked 18th. They blew them out. Kansas was ranked 19th. They beat them on the road. Oklahoma State was ranked 8th. They come back from double digits and win that game. And Kansas State was ranked 17th. And they were able to come back in that game as well and beat the Wildcats. There's only been two other teams do that. Stanford in 2012, Iowa in 1960. Right? So they're doing something that has some real historic relevance. And... I'm impressed. Come back fashion again. Their offense is really good. It's not going anywhere. That offense is really good. And if you're going to beat TCU, you're going to have to deal with that offense at some point. And Kansas State, yeah, they didn't get to implore what Iowa uh, would have tried to do, which is steal possessions, mi minimize possessions, slow the game down. But listen, TCU got them in the end with big plays and Max Duggan. There's my man. I've been waiting. Max Duggan, I have been waiting for this all weekend. Max Duggan, you are on my Heisman short list, and I love every moment of it. Because here's the deal, and I think that you would admit it with me. I don't think you're the most talented quarterback out there, right? But I don't know of many quarterbacks that are a more have more competitive fortitude than Max Duggan. I love this kid. I told you about his story last week, right? Never quit, faced adversity, stared it down, right down the barrel, and he is coming out the other end. And this guy is succeeding, right? He's like Andy Dufresne in that respect. Here he is, shirt off in the rain, staring up, undefeated. This guy is quickly becoming my favorite player. He he you know I've been trying to write down term terms, right? Winner. That's a that's a term, but that doesn't fully encapsulate it. He's a ball playing Jesse. That's how a coach would talk about it, right? He's a ball playing Jesse. You get the sense that you you decided like, "Hey Max, we're going to go and we're going to play a football game and the ball is going to be a head of lettuce." And there's no grass and there's some broken bottles in the in the in the parking lot, but we're gonna play tackle. He'd just be like, I defer to the second half. It's like, yeah, great. Like, let's go. Late, late in the game yesterday, late in the game. He's like putting himself in the mix for first downs, just charging forward. You can tell getting beat up, getting hit. They were hitting him late. They were hitting him right in the chops, and he just kept coming back and coming back and coming back. He's, he's one of the most strong-willed competitors I've seen in a long time. A long time. He, he, there's, a, there's a little bit of Tebow in him, right, in, in that sense. may throw it better down the field, right? I mean, I think we can all admit that. But, man, this like, don't we love when a guy like that, he's not the tallest, he's not the fastest, he doesn't have the best arm, it's not the most accurate arm, but he's just not going to quit. Not going to quit. So, fine. Get a double-digit lead on TCU at your own peril because here he comes, man. Max Duggan, here he comes. And TCU, there they are, undefeated. I think, I think, this is not official. I think Gus and I are going to get to go down there 
and call a TCU game, I think. And I can't wait. And it, as long as they remain un, unbeaten and as long as they remain on this track to where if they continue to win, they're going to go to the playoffs, guess what? Max Duggan is going to be on my short list for the Heisman Trophy. Why? Because there is not a more strong-willed competitor in college football this year. And I am here for it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.